Hey, Popcorn Kit Crew. How's everybody doing today? I am so glad to be here with you. We have a wonderful story, like always, to share with you. Today's story is called The Ugly Duckling. Have you ever heard of this story before? It's a wonderful story about how a beautiful little duckling develops when everybody thought that it was so ugly. Guess what happens in the end? Would you read along with me to find out? But before we start, guess what we have to do? We have to say that we are the greatest. Did you do that yet? Tell me. Let me hear you. Say, I am the greatest. Let me hear you. I heard you. You are the greatest. And that's why we have to get together all the time and we have to affirm ourselves with each other. Did you tell your mom, dad, uncle, auntie, grandma, grandpa, or best friend that you were the greatest? Please tell them. You have to remind people that I'm the greatest regardless of what anybody thinks. This story definitely can explain the reason why we do that all the time. Hey, Popcorn Kit. Thank you so much for all my new friends. I am growing and I am appreciating you and we are together going to learn how to do this thing and learn how to read stories together and learn how to share together. We're gonna to do this thing together. And I'm having so much fun learning together with you. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, did you bring your snacks? Have some. Want some? I'll share with you. If you want some, you're welcome. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a proud and happy duck. I have seven beautiful eggs, and soon I will have seven beautiful ducklings. She told the other creatures on the riverbank. It wasn't long before she heard a crack and one beautiful duckling popped out her little head. Isn't she a beauty, she exclaimed. Soon there was another and another until she had six beautiful ducklings drying their fluffy yellow wings in the spring air. Just one egg left, cracked mother duck, and it's a big one. For quite a while, nothing happened. Mother Duck was starting to worry when, at last, the big egg began to hatch. What's going to happen, you guys? Let's see what's going to happen. Tap, tap, tap. Out came the beak. Crack, crack, crack. Out popped a head. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Out came the last duckling. Oh my, said Mother Duck. Isn't he different? The last duckling looked strange. He was bigger than the other ducklings and he didn't have such lovely feathers as the other ducklings. That's all right, said Mother Duck. You're my special little duckling. Now come on into the water, she told her little ones. You must learn to swim right away. One by one, the ducklings hopped into the water, landing with a little plop. But the ugly duckling fell over his big feet and landed in the water with a great big splash. The other ducklings laughed at the at their clumsy brother <gasps> laughed at oh my gosh that was how do you think that made him feel now my little chick said mother duck stick together and stay behind me you ever had anyone laugh at you because you were different i have i wish i had heard about this story when it happened let's keep reading have you all read this story before? Let me know if you have. I think you're gonna like it. Back at the nest, the ducklings 
practice their quacking. Repeat after me, said their mother. Quack, quack, quackity quack. Quack, quack, quackity quack, repeated the ducklings, all except the ugly duckling. Honk, honk, he called. However much he tried, he couldn't quack like his brothers and sisters. Well, I wonder why not. What was happening with him? What a racket, said Mother Duck. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it soon enough. The other ducklings all quacked with laughter. The, ug the ugly duckling hung his head in shame. Nobody likes me, he thought. I'll never fit in. Oh, my goodness. The next day, the mother duck took her little ones out for another swim. Once again, the little duckling stayed close to her while the ugly duckling wandered alone. Some wild geese came swooping down and landed on the river nearby. What kind of bird are you? asked one of the goose rather rudely. I'm a duckling, of course, he replied. My family have left me alone. The rest of the geese felt sorry for the ugly duckling. Well, come on with us, they said. It's a big wide world and there's so much to see. But the ugly duckling was afraid to leave his river, so he stayed where he was. Poor little baby. He's gonna be all right. Don't worry, he's gonna be all right. When their mother wasn't looking, the ugly ducklings tease their ugly brother. Just look at his dull gray feathers, said his sister unkindly, as she admired her own reflection in the water. Mine are so much prettier. The ugly duckling swam away and looked at his reflection. I don't look the same as them, he thought. Feeling sad and lonely, he swam down the river and didn't stop until he reached a place he had never seen before. I might as well stay here by myself, he decided. He's sad right now. He wanted to get away from all of the siblings teasing him because he didn't look like them. Sometimes we do the same thing. But watch, let's keep reading to see what's gonna happen, okay? Popcorn Crit, I'm some Popcorn Kit crew. Do you like this story? I think it's a fun story. Let me know what you think. Ready? Summer turned to fall, the sky became cloudy, and the river became murky. But still, the ugly duckling swam alone in his quiet part of the river. Snow fell heavily that winter, and the ugly duckling was cold and lonely. The river was frozen solid. Wow. Snow fell heavily that winter, and the ugly duckling was cold and lonely, and the river was frozen solid. Snow fell. So, you guys, they're going through different seasons. They went through fall, they went through summer, and now snow, so it's winter. He's away from his family all this time. What do you think's happening to him? Can you guess what's happening to the duckling while he's away all this time? Let's keep on reading. At least I can see my ugly reflection is not an ugly reflection anymore, he thought to himself. Spring arrived at last, and the ice thawed. New visitors arrived on the river. The ugly duckling watched nervously as some magnificent white duck swam towards him. You're a very big duck, he told them. When they saw him, they swam closer. We're not ducks, laughed the elegant creatures. 
We're swans, just like you. Swans! The ugly duckling didn't know what they meant. He looked at his reflection in the river and was surprised to see beautiful white feathers and an elegant long neck. Swans! Is that really me? He asked surprised. Of course it is, they told him. You are truly a handsome swan. The handsome young swan joined his new friends and glided gracefully back up the river with them. Wow. When he swam past a family of ducks, Mother Duck recognized her ugly duckling right away. I always knew he was special, she said. And the beautiful young swan swam down the river proudly, ruffling his magnificent white feathers and holding his elegant head high. The end. Beautiful. This is beautiful. So you guys, Let's go back to the beginning of the story. It's called the ugly duckling. When in fact, he wasn't a duckling at all. He was a swan and he was a beautiful swan. So when people start giving you opinions about how they feel about you, calling you names, and making you feel uncomfortable, appreciate who you are because those are just their opinions, guys. It's going to happen in school. It's going to happen when you play sports. It's going to happen at home with your siblings. But it's okay because you're unique and your flaws are what make you unique. And oftentimes, that's what make people love you. Miss V loves you. Mm. I love you and I hope you have a wonderful day I'm going to give you a hug and I'm going to give you peace and love you guys let's hang out together if you have any special request if you want Miss V to read a story to you I'd be glad to do it just go to the popcorn kit at gmail.com and I will dedicate a story to you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. See you guys later. See you next time.